Asia Horse is a company that I have been supporting in the PC market for quite some time now. So when I saw that they were making an AIO, I actually got really excited. Now I am by no means saying that this thing is bad per se. The AIO itself works great. The only complaint that I have with this, and I have run into this problem with other AIOs on the lower budget side of things, is that when you're mounting it to your CPU, it's it's going to be hard to spread everything evenly. And the reason that I say that is because there's no way to kind of, when, when you're mounting the pump on the actual CPU, there's no way to evenly like, like mount it down. You literally just take the pump, place it on the CPU, and then you screw it around the the four at least for intel you screw it around the four bolts i i didn't use it for the amd or am am5 it's literally a brand new aio this is the first time i've ever used it uh, i didn't get any water bubbles or anything like that in it the pump hose from the actual pump to the radiator is a little bit thin it doesn't feel like it's um like like super thick it doesn't feel like the ek nucleus or the asus um, 360 millimeter AIO or the Lian Lee AIOs and the more premium AIOs and ZXT as well has some pretty big pump hoses. It feels more like the thermal right AIO. It feels more like the MSI AIO and, um, you know, like the lower end ones. And I'm guessing that's because you're going to be putting this on probably a mid range computer build. You're not going to be putting this on something like an I nine or something like that. However, with that said, they're all the the aios the radiators and stuff like that they're patented so every single company that is like that has an aio and is selling them they're all going to perform very 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 similarly you know we're talking like a five to ten degree difference we're not talking about a night and day difference here so yes although the higher end ones like the new arctic aio that they just barely released that one does it, it that one's on the higher end it reduces like temperatures by like 10 degrees but it is also very hard for somebody to install that if you're building a computer for you know like i i run a pc building business so like i even was a little bit skeptic about removing the entire cpu plate on the motherboard and then mounting arctics whatever a little mount there and you know just it, it is a little bit more difficult and it's not the most beginner friendly AIO, but overall, man, it performs well. I, it, the, the computer that you saw for footage, that's a 14700K and it did perfectly fine cooling the 14700K. I have not tested it with an i9, so I can't confirm that. But, um, if you end up getting the thermal grizzly cryo sheet, they, it's, it basically, it's like a non, um, it's a non paste of thermal paste so basically it's literally just like a, a sheet of thermal paste it and it's like you can hold it it doesn't it it the reason i'm saying this is because it when you go to mount the aio on your cpu it's not going to like it doesn't matter whether or not you you go from left top to right bottom to left bottom to right top and then it's not like you have to spread the thermal paste evenly because it's just a sheet of it, you know what I mean? And um, that would work really well with this AIO.